Okay, everybody, we are back to part two of our little home decor item that we're going to give to the grandparents as a Christmas gift. Part one, we went through and we took the natural paint system, the naturally aged paint system. This is the precious stone, and this one is marble. And we made this a cross between kind of a black and white marble using the four different paints from Tattered Angels and created this is starting off with a piece of wood that we then painted and it is now dried. So I've already pre cut the pictures. All the pictures are three by three. And what we're going to do now, while this continues to do a little bit of a drying, it's not completely done, but it's pretty darn close, is we're going to go in and we're going to mat our pictures on black. So I just have a piece of black cardstock on craft, but you know, you could do black on black, that's fine too. Basically, I want something to help kind of contrast this and what I might do, I think I might like that idea. I think I'm going to get a white and I'm going to double mat. So because all my pictures are three by three, we need to cut this down to basically be three and a quarter because I just want a tiny bit of a mat. So three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I'm going to need six of them because I'm making two boards. So basically what I started off with is that I started off with a four by six picture that I then cut down for two pictures for each of my children. So two for each, cut them down to a three by three size. We are then going to mat them on to the white and then it's going to get matte on to the black and just give it a nice clean double matte look. So everything's kind of got that black and white look. I ink everything, including the edges of the pictures and all the papers. So I got out some British Moreau detail ink and basically all I'm going to do, and I'm going to speed this through because it's the same thing. I'm going to do one with you and ink the edge of the picture just to get rid of that little white edge there. I personally just like it a little bit more. Ink the edge of this paper. You know, the background is going to have kind of a messy-ish tone as you can see. I don't even know if you can see that. You can barely see it in the background there because we want it to look like it's uh, on a piece of stone instead of just a piece of wood. So we're kind of changing it up. We're going to use a wet glue. We're going to use Beacon Mixed Media glue because we are putting together things that are going to hang up and I do not want them to fall off over time. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of glue and this thing is almost all gone. And I'm using mixed media glue because this glue is perfect for gluing objects that are odd to each other, like we're paper to wood. And you know, I know picture to paper is not odd, but we're also gonna be adding some other odd items here shortly. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue, enough to make sure it gets stuck. Go ahead and put my cap back on. I don't wanna waste any more glue than I have to. I'm just gonna kind of rest it off to here. I'm gonna keep it kind of upside down so I don't lose it. And then you, whoops, you're gonna nest it just like this and then just like this and it just gives it a nice finished look now one of the things I have to decide are all my pictures gonna go like this or are we gonna go vertical and I haven't figured that out yet it's still one of the things at this point what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish mounting and inking all my pictures so here's all six of my pictures done mounted inked the whole shebang and now I've got to kind of decide which way I want to go so I'm gonna play with both I think I'm going to go this way, and here's the reason why. I, I like the vertical feeling of it, but then they would have to mount it on a wall or something. Whereas, I'm kind of looking at the wood, and the wood itself has a little bit of a curve, as you can see. And it's standing up, so I'm almost thinking if I can take just a little bit of something, a little foot that I can put on the back here, just to give it some stability, just like add a little triangle and I can glue that on. And then it becomes a little picture frame that they can mount up and it already has kind of that panoramic span feel to it. Cause there's just a little ever so slight of a angle. So why not use that to my advantage? So I think we're gonna do that, which also means I'm gonna need to finish the back side of this, which I think I'm just gonna paint it white and to make it very simple. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do that now while I'm trying to, you know, thinking all through this. So I'm just going to flip these both over and I'm just going to kind of paint them white. I'm not too worried if they're perfect, but I do want to get them a little bit closer so that if it does get mounted on a table somewhere, it doesn't look so completely yuck. All right, so the back sides are not 100% dry, but they're pretty darn close enough. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this over. And the front side is, it looks like it's not dry, but it really is. My hands are just kind of gross from previously. And we are gonna line the kids up. 
and just kind of get a basis for where we're going to go. And I think I'm going to go youngest to oldest. No, I think I might put my daughter in the middle. I don't know. We may play with that. We'll see how that goes. Part of the reason why I may put her in the middle is because of the pictures. If you look at the boys, they're so, they have the exact same shirt on and then it doesn't become too matchy matchy. It almost looks more symmetrical this way when you line them up with them on opposite sides. Okay, so I decided I think I'm gonna leave the back plain, but I am gonna add a little bit of a flower on here. I wanna add a little bit of a cluster and I also wanna add this little angel. And the story behind the angel is I do have four children, but one has passed away and I hate, doing something that leaves her out so in some way shape or form i always like to include her especially when it's kind of like this family photo that i'm giving to the grandparents of all the kids well she wasn't there that day because she's no longer with us so i like to try and do something that still has a memory or a thought of her and that's why i usually pick an angel or a butterfly or i do something to just to kind of capture the fact that she's still there and nobody else really understands except for us what that means but it makes me feel better when i do something so i don't disinclude my other child so this is a button and there i just happen to have a couple of them and i'm going to go ahead and pull the back off that way it'll lay a little closer to flat Apparently this one already was used for something, so it's got a bunch of glue on the back of it, which we will promptly rip off. So this little angel can now get tucked right in here, just like that. And then I have some pretty swirls. And one of the things I love to do with swirls is I like to see how they're gonna fit on there. And if you notice, I have a few that are kind of tucked in the back already. And I don't know if I like this one, but I like the champagne and I like this kind of color here. So I was thinking, and I don't wanna have any I can't have any go below this piece. So all the swirls that are gonna fit on here are gonna have to fit above the bottom. They can go up into the pictures and I'm perfectly fine with that. So what I like to do is I like to cut them out and kind of lay them where I think I might want to have them go. And so, and I'm fine with them kind of going up in the picture because they really don't take away from the photo. So what I might do is angle it and cut off this little piece right here and cut off this piece right here. So let's go ahead and do that because then it would fit just fine. And so you have the power to make the swirl whatever you want. And I might just get rid of that whole little bottom section. So now it becomes a little bit flatter of a swirl, still angle it up. And now what I can do is I can go in with this and I can add a swirl back in here so it doesn't look so lopsided and I can I can modify it how I want to and I really do like the way that that one is working but now the bottom side looks better you kind of have to even it out a little bit and then the little angel would just rest right in there make a little cluster it's kind of like that and then we'll add just a little swirl going off in the other direction just something to kind of balance it out not too much that way but there it is so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down I'm going to cut my other swirl I'm pretty sure I'm going to use the champagne colored one over here the swirls are from Eyelet Outlet, and so I'll do the same thing to here. I'm going to speed this up and start gluing everything down. There we go. Two cute little picture frames for my parents and my in-laws. Um, if you did notice, I didn't completely center the pictures top to bottom. I did scooch them up a bit and that just gave a little bit more room for the swirls not to get on their faces and it's getting closer to their chest area. Um, I also 
did both of them the same direction. I put my sons on the same side instead of flip flopping them. And I didn't have exactly the same flower, the exactly the same swirl color. And so you just change it up a bit and see what you like. And I, I like them both. They're both really, they're both really pretty. So thanks for much. Um, fun little presents to give to your grandparents, parents. This could be a Mother's Day gift. This could be just about anything, but this is a Christmas gift for me. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Welcome to my 1500 giveaway. I'm giving away four different Bridges from Road mini chalk ink sets to lucky winners who subscribe to my channel. All I need you to do is go to the video linked here, which is my Bridges from Road ink lab. Go in the top corner and hit the I button. It'll take you directly to that video. And then just leave a comment that you would like to win. And if you're a new subscriber, please say that. Or if you're a returning subscriber, well, let me know. That's it. Thanks so much. Bye.